This is Weemi's updated etherscan.io token approvals guide. To find the feature on etherscan, you just hover your mouse over more on the upper right and then click on token approvals. Once here, you can paste in any ETH or ENS address. For ERC20 tokens, you have to click on show all approvals. And here you can already see the upside of etherscan as it shows the last updated timestamp right here. Also, it is a bit more precise with the approved spender contracts compared to revoke.cash. Click on the ERC721 tokens to see the approvals for all of your NFTs. And for this wallet, you can see the hatchlings were approved three times. Conduit, which is the new Seaport protocol, looks rare. And the ownable Delegate proxy, which is the old Wyvern protocol of OpenSea. And the Loopy Donuts have been approved for looks rare too. Most people will be checking their approvals if they sign something malicious. An approved spender for your NFTs should always be an official marketplace or in some rare occasions a staking contract, but never a wallet address that has access to more than one collection. In this example, you can see this wallet has been approved four times. So how would we remove such a permission? You would go on connect to Web3 right here. Once you've done that, you will see that the revoke button itself will no longer be grayed out. So let's say we want to remove the ownable delegate proxy because it's the old OpenSea protocol. You would just click on revoke and then on either scan you get prompted with the token and the spender. The token in this case would be the hatchlings token and the spender in this case would be the ownable delegate proxy. If you were to copy the address into either scan, you could just look it up or you could just look at the Vitamask window that pops up if you now click on revoke. This is basically why I did the update. This is the new metamask approval that shows up if you set an approval for all or in this case revoke an approval for all by revoking permission it says the contract can no longer access your hatchlings which is a good thing and that is what we want to achieve and if you want to be really sure you check the data tab down here and see it's calling the set approval for all function and sets the parameter to false it means it nulls the function and makes it impossible for this contract to spend your tokens you would then click on confirm and pay the small gas fee to revoke access to the given contract to your wallet Stay safe, guys.